Hello there, welcome back. In this video, there's a few tweaks that I would like to do just before we go any further. Now, I, I kind of apologise that I even have to make this video, but I said right at the start that, you know, I'm pretty much doing this, I, I don't have any notes or anything, and I'm just doing this off the top of my head. So, uh, there are a few things that I just want to get right, if that's okay. One of the things that bothers me is that I've been a bit inconsistent with the way these things, these functions are made. So I'm going to be all modern and just do this and make sure all of the various functions are looking okay and nice and modern and all of that, right? So I'll try and be a, a bit more consistent here if you'll forgive me, okay? It's just something that I want to get right. I mean, we have a long way to go here, you know? So we might as well get this right. Okay, so that's that, and uh, with a little bit of luck, we're now starting to look um, a bit more like the way they like things to be in Code Igniter land, at least recently. Uh, so let me just have a Okay, so now I'm going to do the exact same thing for the copy this thing, this uh, thing here, which I'm calling the perfect controller. Okay, that's us. Uh, is there anything else? Let me just have a quick look. Um, also the template section, let's just sort that out. It's just an old habit, this, you know? And I think that's it. I'll just double check. Site security. Oh, here we go again in here. Okay, that should be us. Now, I do apologize for making you watch that rubbish. Um, I've been using Code Igniter since about 2011, and old habits die hard, so I'm sorry for that. But anyway, that's something that I wanted to do. The next thing that I want to do is a little tweak um, that I thought of. You know how when we are doing these store items things, we are passing in a view module, okay? Well, the thought occurred to me, if I just open up the templates thing here. Um, okay, so the idea is we pass in this uh, view module and with the view module, uh, the thing figures out what to load up, okay? At least that's the that's the idea, if I can find it. Yeah, so here we are, view module, right? And the thought occurred to me that actually, you know, this is going to be a huge uh, application. What we are building, folks, is probably the most comprehensive online shop app on YouTube. I know that's a bold statement, but we have a long way to go. And when you think of it, there's really no need to write view module everywhere. What we could do is we could say, we could jump into the templates and we could say, if not is set data view module, okay, then we could say, oh geez, sorry. Then we could say data view module equals this URI segment one, okay? And that should actually do the job. So if we take, for example, uh, let's go to store items create here, like so. Okay, here it is right here, okay? And just to show that this actually works, I'll take this out for a second, whoops. I've got a microphone in front of the keyboard, so I'm sorry about all the mistakes. Um, so we'll go to create, right, here it is here, and we've added this view module thing in, so I'm going to take it out, and refresh, and you'll see that we have an error, okay, so we've got this error because th it does not know where the view module is, but what I'm saying is, we can go to the template, and it will get the view module from the URL, in this case it will be store item, so if we hit refresh, now hold on a moment. Uh, views admin three nine nine seven data view module set data 
Okay, echo, echo, data, view, module. Um, templates, admin. Sorry, I'm in the wrong template. Right, doesn't matter. I'll keep that up there anyway because we'll need it here. Okay. Right, sorry, I'll wake up. <laughs> uh, undefined index view module. Well, of course, so what we're saying now is if not is set view module, then the view module is going to be store items, which is good. So if we now add this little thing in here, can you see the vibe? So can you see how by just adding in a little uh, if statement here, right here, then what we're doing is we are eliminating the need to declare this view module all over the place. Uh, because most of the time, not all of the time, but most of the time, the view module will equal the first segment of the U uh, U URL. Okay, uh, view module, let me just check here. I'm looking for view module, is it here anywhere? Hello? I think I've got it. Right, that's us. So there's no more instances of view module on this. Good. Right, that's cool. Uh, and that's pretty cool, right? So now it all works anyway, and we don't need to bother about that setting the view module thing, okay? So sorry about that. It was just a few tweaks that I wanted to do before we move forward. I really want to get this right. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.